transplanting seedlings into larger pots. Coming up next, we'll be right back. Garden gals and guys, welcome back to the Fat Earth Backyard Farm. Today we're transplanting seedlings. And I need to do this for several reasons. One, because as you can see, my little pepper plants here are outgrowing their little peat pellets. And they also need some fertilizer. Whenever your seedlings finally have at least one set of true leaves, it's time to fertilize. And two, because since I only have one grow light, my tomatoes are constantly reaching for the light when they're not directly under it. And so they're, this is what's called leggy, and that's when the plant is kind of long. So I'm going to transplant these because the wonderful thing about tomatoes is that the little tiny hairs that you see along the stem will turn into roots if you bury the seedling deep enough. So I'm going to bury it. All that's going to become a root system, which is going to make the plant stronger and healthier and I'm going to give them a little bit more room to grow. So I started with, you can see down here, I've got two bowls of um, potting mix. I went a little bit stronger with this potting mix. This is uh, a seed starter, but it's for all types of seedlings, so it's a little bit stronger than just the, this seed starting mix here. And what I did was I mixed this with one gallon of water that has um, some seaweed fertilizer mixed in. So I just took a large bowl, I actually took this bowl here and put 16 cups of water in it, which is one gallon. And then I began to mix the soil into that and then got another bowl. Because you want the soil to have the consistency of a wrung out damp sponge. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with some of my tomatoes here. And this is gonna be a little tricky and a little messy. And my daughter and my dog are here to help me. So I bought these little cardboard pots and they have little holes in the bottom. And I have different varieties, so I'm going to do one variety at a time so that I know which one is which. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to put a whole lot of soil into these. Um, cup because I want to leave room for the plant. So what I'm going to do is take just a little bit of soil and pack it down into the bottom. Take a little out. And then I'm going to pinch and push until my plant comes up. I'm going to be very, very careful. The root system, as you can see, is not very long. So I'm going to put this little guy in here. And then I'm going to kind of try and keep him centered. And then push the soil firmly down around him. Or her, if you like hers. All right, so you can see I've covered up some of the stem, which is now gonna become a root system. And since this is already watered with the fertilizer, I don't have to worry about watering it right now. The soil is nice and moist. So I'm giving my tomato plant some more room to grow, moving it into a larger house and giving it some food. Because as you can see, these are the cotyledons, which are the first two leaves that come, and you can see the true leaves have started to form. So when your seedlings have one or two true leaves, that's when it's time to transplant, and that's when it's time to fertilize. And I use only organic fertilizer. I usually use seaweed uh, fertilizer or something of that nature, kelp, something like that. Never any synthetic or chemical. And there you have it, garden gals and guys. There's my pepper fish, or fish pepper, I should say. And here are my scotch bonnets and my bullnose peppers. And my tomatoes are down under here and over here. 
I'm definitely running out of space. I hope it warms up soon so that I can start putting everything out into the greenhouse during the day and then bringing it back in at night. Didn't get to transplant my mizuna and my broccoli and my arugula because I thought I counted out enough pots to buy and I didn't. So that will be a project for tomorrow because they're not liking being in these little uh, cell packs anymore. So that's it. Until next time, garden gals and guys. Happy gardening.